Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to add variations to WooCommerce for our blog products. Let's get started. So I have in here this product that I want to become a variable product and I want to add some variations to this. As you can see, it only has red and it doesn't have any size or the likes. So what you can do in order to edit it out is to just head over right here to your products on your WooCommerce dashboard and then you should be able to just locate the product. So this is the product right here. So let's head over and click on this edit option. Now this will open the product editor of WordPress or WooCommerce itself. So once it's downloading, you should be able to see it from in here. So here's our product. We have in here the product name as well the description right here. So what we can do is we can scroll down and you can see in here the product data. As of right now, it's a simple product. So what we can do is we can click on it. And then from in there, let's choose in here a variable product. So as you can see, it's been changed. So you can put in here quantity rules, gift card, and the likes. But what we need to do is we need to have the right here to attributes first. Now let's click on this add new. And now in here, let's add in here an attribute. So let's click on here, right here. Now we need to head over right here to the attributes and we need to add in here an attribute. So the attribute name will be size and the slug will be size as well. So let's add that. And you also enable archives and custom order. But for us, let's choose near custom ordering. And then from in there, click on this add attribute. Once this attribute has been added, we should be able to just save it as is. Now in having here this, so you can also configure the terms if you want as well. Now you can also edit it out if you want it to be. Now let's head over right here to our products and let's go back to the product that we're editing earlier. So let's scroll down until you can see it. Here it is. Let's head over and click on this edit right here. And then it will open the product editor again. Now on the attribute right here, as you can see, I have added size. So you can also add new attribute if you want as well. But once you have done that, make sure to save your attributes that you have added right here. Next thing you need to do is you just head over to variation and you can head over and then just generate your variations right here. So I have generated in here my variations with this X, S, S, M, L, X, L. And then you can also edit it out in order to change the actual price for each of them. So what you can do in this case is just head over and edit it out however you want and then just scroll up and then from in there click on this update option. So that's the whole process. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like, player, subscribe because I'll train each more people. See you soon.